All right, uh, 333 the time. Just so we're clear, do any of you really think we're going to build a Berlin-style wall from the Pacific to Brownsville, Texas? You don't don't have to build that kind of wall to create a border. You don't have to do that. And by the way, that's estimated to cost, what, $25 billion in this ridiculous omnibus that was passed, what, $1.3 trillion, I think. We talked about it all day the other day. How much money was uh, earmarked to build the wall? Just over a billion. Yeah, we're about $24 billion short. Oh, well. Let me, let me try to do something here. I am so sick and tired of politicians on the left and right playing the American people for all that it's worth on this illegal immigration thing when the only people making any money is the government. Government, you're paying for everything. Improper entry is a crime. Let's be clear. The most common crime associated with illegal immigration is probably improper entry. Under federal criminal law, it's a misdemeanor. A misdemeanor for an alien, a non-citizen, to either enter or attempt to enter the United States at any time or place other than designated by immigration officers. Okay? So those things you see, like at San Ysidro, in other places, it's illegal. It's a misdemeanor to elude examination or inspection by immigration officers. See what you got on you. You got any fruit? You got any uh, any uh, poultry? You got any uh, beef? You got any dope? Yeah. Attempt to enter or obtain entry to the U.S. by willfully concealing, falsifying, or misrepresenting material facts. Well, uh, what's what's the punishment? Because the government, both the Democrats and Republicans, have got the entire country all worked up. I'm surprised people aren't standing on the rooftops. What do we do now? We're being overrun. The punishment under that law is no more than six months of incarceration and $250 in civil penalties. That's less than it takes to become a citizen. These acts of improper entry, including the so-called border jumping, how many times have you heard that, are criminal acts associated with illegally immigrating to the U.S., misdemeanor. Like all other criminal charges in the U.S., improper entry must be proven beyond a reasonable doubt in order to convict in a court of law. Well, it's going to be like Brahms, here's your number, now hearing your court case. Can you imagine? We're the most litigious country on planet Earth. Throw that in the mix. No, you don't want to go there. Unlawful presence. That's not a crime. Some people assume that all immigrants who are on the U.S. without legal status must have committed improper entry. Well, that's not the case. Many foreign nationals legally enter the country on a valid work visa, travel visa, student visa, but they fail to leave before their visa expires for any number of reasons. But mere unlawful presence in the country, believe it or not, is not a crime. It's a violation of federal immigration law to remain in the country without legal authorization, but that violation is punishable by civil penalties, not criminal penalties. Number one among those civil penalties is deportation or removal. And that's what a bunch of people have got America all worked up about. Deport them, line up the buses. Okay, well, that's a physical impossibility. That's where an unlawful resident may be detained or removed from the country. Unlawful presence can also have, you know, quite a few negative consequences for a resident who may seek to gain re-entry or permanent residency. Probably not, because we can't keep track of anything from last week, let alone last year, at the governmental level. Both improper entry and unlawful presence can be avoided by any immigrant to the U.S., but an illegal alien cannot be criminally charged or even put in jail simply for being undocumented. 
Did you know that? Yeah, two classifications. I'm, I'm sick and tired of politicians funding their retirement accounts by ginning up the constituency to think we're being overrun. In some cases, in some geographical areas, we are. So what do you do? Create and enforce a border. And then you make it uh, some way, somehow, you can be a resident if you're not a criminal. If you're here, hardworking, God-fearing, raising your kids, trying to put food on the table, which is, that's a majority. That's a vast majority of the illegals here. Escaping a totally corrupt country where they couldn't put enough food on the table to support themselves, they came here. You probably would too. I know I would. But do you hear about that in the news? No. You just hear about the criminal aspect of illegal immigration. To slam the Republicans. They're not protecting you. They're not protect. It's all a political theater. And we're paying for everybody's ticket. Do you, do you see what's going on? Just like those those. I think they calculated a million of those kids took part in that protest on Saturday, March for Our Lives. And by the way, they, Obama, well, they're only 15 and 16, and somehow in study hall they got this all together. If you buy, it, you, no, I'm not even going to say that. You know that's not true. But what all they had to do was demonize a term loosely used, assault weapon, Republicans and Trump, and all of a sudden, you've got a nationwide protest. The politicians have done the same thing to you and me on this thing called illegal immigration. This is a big country, big country. We got plenty of room, but we need a border and we need it enforced. Numero uno, number one, create, maintain a border. And then, instead of trying to turn over every rock in the quarry, you have you give people an incentive to come forward. Okay, you can be a resident, not a citizen. You can be a resident, work towards your citizenship if you like. Once you get that, you can vote. That would require photo ID to vote. Oh no, that's too that's too cumbersome on the elderly, on those of color. Well, that's garbage, and you know it. You know, a lot of things have to fall into place, but it needs to come to a stop because all you are doing and all you have done for the last half century is fun political theater at the expense of your pocketbook, your taxes, the illegals. The only people getting rich on this thing are the people in D.C. Aren't you ready for that to stop? Aren't you ready to come to to a point and say, okay, boom. Create a border, maintain it. Are we, have we assured ourselves we maintain? Okay, good. Now we'll do, go into phase two. You can't tell me that won't work. Unless, of course, you just want to talk about illegal immigrants for the next 30 years. I'm pretty sure you don't.